today I'm gonna build my own compost bin out of wood, chicken wire, and screws. So I'm gonna start by drilling each of these slats to one of the four posts, and then we're gonna build it up wall by wall. Cool, so now we do that 80 more times. All right, so that is one side down. Oh no. Oh, that's not right at all. So my measurements were not right. Um, and I'm just gonna take out a few screws. We're gonna do it again. It's, it's totally fine. See, that's so easy. Is this right? Oh, I bet I was drilling the screw into the other screw and that's why it wasn't working. I'm trying to be more comfortable with imperfection. Oh, what if I start at the top? I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna so start. I'm gonna start the top. I know. So we finished the three sides um, and the slats are a little more uneven than I would like because I didn't measure it as well as I could have. Um, I also tried to go to the local lumber yard, you know, to support my local businesses. Um, but I got there and they were closed, but the guy was clearly inside. And then I called and he was like, no, we're closed. And I was like, I can see your backpack. And then I was like, it's okay, I'll go home, I'm a woman. Cool, so let's put the fourth side together. So I'm interspersing the screws so they don't scratch metal onto each other. Oh, my drill bit came out. Okay, we're gonna do this again. What if I was like, I'm gonna be traveling all summer and I'm not planting anything? Oh, these are the wrong screws for outdoor use also. I used to have hanging lights out here and the squirrel would come and gnaw off each one individually as if it were an acorn. This is all gonna disintegrate like in a season. So I'm gonna lay chicken wire down so that rodents don't get in. How big of a hole can a mouse get through? Like really small, right? It's gonna be just like a little too big, but like, you know what? Humans are adaptable creatures, sometimes to frightening degrees. I am a genius. Why is this the wrong height? Okay. I feel like we all saw the I know. No, it was just you. The final screw. That sounds really sad. <laughs> like an end of days porn. Next, I'm gonna attach the bottom. All right, so I'm gonna drill some holes. I can't really see what I'm drilling into, but I'm just gonna guess. Oh, I don't think this is in anything. That felt too easy. I guess the thing about DIY stuff is like, do you have anything better to do with your time? Okay, so I'm gonna turn it over and we're gonna see if the bottom is attached to the top. Oh my God, guys, I live in this compost bin now. This is incredible. So next up, I'm gonna put the top on. I bought hinges and a lock. I bought a lock because I'm afraid that the raccoon that I saw once in my backyard is gonna get in there and I'm, he's gonna like claw up with his grimy little like human paws and then like unlock it and then open it and then climb in. But I feel like he's like less likely to do it if there's an actual lock on it. Okay, you ready? So all in all, this DIY compost bin cost me $75 for the wood, $9.82 for the chicken wire, $8.65 for wire cutters, $5 for screws, $6 for the hinges and lock, $1.99 for goggles, $3.99 for work gloves, $15 for a cab to carry the wood home, making a total cost of $125.45. Building your own compost bin is definitely not worth it financially or time-wise. But look how cool it is. Give me your food scraps. Ma, ma, ma. <laughs> that was a low point in my life. I apologize for that.